In today's video, we're going to be going over how to install Forge, World Edit, Multi-MC, and World Painter for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.19.4. As with all of my tutorials, all of the relevant links will be provided in the video description below. To begin, we're going to be getting Forge installed to the default launcher of Minecraft. Later, I will show you how to do the same with the Multi-MC launcher, which is an alternative to the official launcher and what I and many other players like to use. Before we begin installing Forge, you need to be on the official launcher right here. Make sure you're set to the latest release of 1.19.4. Just click play and let the game run. Once your game is open, all you have to do is close out of it. Head over to Google and type into the search bar Forge 1.19.4 and hit enter. The link will be provided in the description, so you can just do that as well. Go to this page where you have this installer button. This is what we're going to want to do. We want to click it, and it takes us to an ad focus site. And at the top right, in this little gray button that's kind of hard to see, you click skip. What it does is in the bottom left, it will download the Forge file. Lamps that window a little bit and drag it to your desktop once it is down downloading. Make sure as well that this Minecraft launcher right here is just closed out. Right here we have the latest version of Minecraft Forge 1.19.4 on our desktop. We just double left click it. And with this pop-up you make sure it's ticked to install client. It should already automatically detect your Minecraft folder. All you have to do is click OK. Once it is done installing, it will give you this pop-up message. You just click OK and it will close itself out. Go back to your Minecraft launcher, just get the official launcher back opened up. Now down here, you're going to have the latest release bar. It should pop up with Forge 1.19.4 with the new version that you just installed. All we got to do now is click play. It'll give you this pop-up, you understand, because it's just a modded version of Minecraft. It's not a big deal. So if we look in the bottom left or at the top, you can clearly see that Forge has been installed correctly, which means we can now move on to getting the World Edit mod into our game. Head over to Google once again and type in World Edit Mod 1.19.4 or click the link down in the description below. Go to the CurseForge website and it should take you to the official page for the World Edit Mod. Down below it will give you all of the game versions. We see here that 1.19.4 version is available, so all you have to do is click this down arrow right here and download file. Again, it will put the file in the bottom left, so we're going to collapse this window and drag it to our desktop. Next, we need to put the World Edit Mod into our mods folder, so we're going to find that by going to percent app data percent in the windows search bar down below click enter and right here you click the dot minecraft folder go down to mods and just dump world edit right into there if you don't have a mods folder all you have to do is right click inside of your file explorer go new folder and just name it mods since i have a mods folder this is going to cause an issue so no to make sure that things are working correctly, open the official launcher again, click play. And now that we're in game, we can just go quickly and check this mods tab. It should say that world edit is installed right here. Here we are in a single player world. All I'm going to do is type slash slash wand and the world edit axe pops up, which means the mod did indeed correctly install. Next up, we're going to be getting Forge and World Edit installed for Multi-MC launchers. So first, we're going to have to get the Multi-MC launcher for those of you that do not have it. Just type in Multi-MC into the search bar. Go to the first link that pops up. Right here on the left, you go to Download and Install. And you go to, if you're on the Windows operating system, Download 32 slash 64 bit. Drop it to your desktop and you're going to have to have an extracting software tool. I believe Windows allows you to also just extract all, so I will do that for the sake of this video. And it should put a folder on your desktop of the extracted Multi-MC. It automatically popped up for me, so we're just going to open it up. And right here, if you just double click Multi-MC, it will pop up. It may give a warning about Windows Defender. Uh, you can just click that drop down and do run anyways. This will get us to the installation. You can see right here, click next, click next, and then click finish. For me, I'm not gonna click finish because I already have multi-MC installed. Here we are in multi-MC. I'm just going to minimize this window a little bit because it's just easier to see everything. And these are the installations and instances that I already have on here. It's quite easy to create a new instance. All you have to do is right click this window, click create instance, and you can select whatever version, any snapshot, beta, whatever, of Minecraft that you wish to install. For the sake of this video, we're gonna do 1.19.4. You just click okay. I'm gonna rename this to 1.19.4 tutorial. First thing you're going to want to do to get Forge onto here, and I will say it is way easier than doing it through the official launcher, is click edit instance. The cool thing about this is it's very customizable, but it's also very easy to get Forge, Fabric, or a quilt on here. If you want to run like say the replay mod, you're going to be doing Fabric. For the case of this video, we're doing Forge. So all you have to do is click install Forge, and it already selects the latest updated version, so just click OK. And Forge is already installed onto your multi-MC. Down at the very bottom here, on the same window, we could just click launch. And we get the same result where it shows that Forge has been installed. I'm going to close out of that. 
and close out of that. What I recommend is that you keep another copy of world edit mod, the .jar file on your desktop. If you didn't though, just go back to your percent app data percent folder or your downloads folder and just drag that .jar back to your desktop. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over to downloads and world edit mod should be right here. Select your instance again and go to the Minecraft folder option. Right here, it'll just pull up your .minecraft through multi-mc on the instance that we are currently looking at, and it should have a mods folder right here, which allows you to just put world edit in, and it will work the same way as the official launcher. The reason I use multi-mc is because of the ease of access through all of your folders. If you want to get to your Minecraft folder, it's very easy to get there to look at your screenshots, to look at your resource packs, your saves, your shader packs, whatever you want, way easier than the official launcher. So now we will be installing World Painter for Minecraft, which is a very beautiful software for creating worlds and such. Type World Painter into Google, go to the official website, and you just want to go to this right here. I am a 64-bit system on Windows. It's likely you're the same. You're going to want to click this download installer.exe option right here. Again, it'll put in the bottom left. We're going to drop down this menu and just drag this icon to the bottom and left click. It's going to install through the process. This is obviously a very simple process. You just do this. I already have an existing installation. There's this shouldn't affect anything, so I will go through it with you. It's just hitting next a bunch of times, and it'll extract the files and get everything set up. Once you're done, you have Run World Painter, uh, you know, ticked or whatever, and click Finish. It'll Run World Painter, and that's literally it. You have World Painter onto your computer. Uh, let's just let this run real quick, and boom, it pops up. By this point in the video, you should have everything correctly installed. If you guys have any questions or issues that come up, please leave them down in the comment section below, and I will get to answering them as soon as I can. In the next video, we will actually be utilizing these tools to create flow islands in Minecraft in a method that should take you only five minutes once perfected. I'll go over how to get custom brushes installed into World Painter and also some of the basics of exporting and also using World Edit to then create those floating islands. You should be able to see that video popping up on screen right now so go click that link and uh this is the outro now.